Hey yo, it's Wolf Attack. So, I want to show you around the cabin. Um, not all parts of it were actually used in all, like, whenever I suited. So I just kind of want to, like, show you... It doesn't have any of the furniture anymore. Because my brother already took that out. But, I just want to show you all... Kind of what the cabin was and why I liked it. Um, if I come across it, I and I'm kind of tethered to the wall right now because power. Um, I forgot my batteries at home, so I'm gonna do my best here. But there's some scenes I remember from different areas of the cabin. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna show you some of them. I do this carefully. We're just gonna do this. So first things first, the fireplace. So one of my most memorable screw ups. I specifically say screw up is sitting with a fire on. He's sitting about here on the couch, and I asked somebody to a date, and they said no. <laughs> oh man, that was upsetting. And still working through that, but yeah, don't ask somebody to a date out in front of a fire right there. That's my life lesson for that. Um, so over here, so. I gotta loosen this. So yeah, fireplace. And then this TV. Now, I would always come and watch TV. It points towards Madison. So all the home channels, also we get up here. But I can rotate in and get anything else. So like if the Packer game's on, I could get Wausau. Um, which broadcasts it. So... There was a table uh, underneath it, DVD player, uh, that's all gone, but um, the TV, we used to have like a little 13 inch, little 13 inch TV, and that's what was our TV here for a bit, and then we're like, Father, Black Friday's coming, we'll get you a TV for Christmas. So we all, the three brothers chipped in, and that's where the flat panel came in. My brother John coordinated it. I got the TV mount. And then I mounted it. And it sat there the air ever since. Not gonna lie, many a Packer game have been watched on that since we've been up here. Um, anyway, so... Over this way, it just leads over to the door. The door, obviously, is a door. Like I said, I'm tethered to the wall, so if you gotta pivot. But anyway, so there's the dining room. There was a desk there. I had radio stuff. Uh, if you ever see me with any radio things, this was that. All the radio stuff we used to run underneath the door until I got the window thing. But we always set it here up on the table. And that was our operating station. Some HF contests and stuff, and some awards were actually won up here from that table on the HF radio stuff. Not gonna lie, so CQ Worldwide, when I'm recording this, October 24th, is today. I wish I could participate, but this is the last weekend of the cabin. So, we'll just have to catch it another time. But anyway, so... You may recognize this from some older videos. Is the kitchen. We used to never have anything here. We put a pantry and stuff there, which actually, if you see me washing my hands in the one video, I actually set the camera on top of the pantry, and that's how I recorded it. But some of my earlier background screen stuff were either hung 
right here along the edge of the kitchen. And I used the kitchen light as the backlight. And I set the tripod on the counter. It was that, it's that like convoluted with some of those videos. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll put some of them in here if I remember to. But some of the original photos I had of Wolflotech uh, 1.0 were actually via a backdrop along in front of the door. And there's actually, we still have the piece of conduit in the back room from that. But yeah, so when we first got the place, this fridge didn't exist. That little white thing there, turn on the light there, that used to be the fridge, the little white thing, then we put our freezer next to it until we got that fridge. The microwave never existed. We put that up. Uh, the lights are really bright over the sink. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, it's a bad light per se and we just put very bright LED lights in it so yeah but yeah so many uh, fish fries were done in this kitchen courtesy of my father um, and then just on the other side of that wall is the bathroom um, not too much going on in there but anyway, let's see what it is going on in the back of the house, the cabin. So here at the cabin, we actually had two bedrooms. Um, this was what we considered the main bedroom because it has this oak wood. Now, if you notice that, why I say oak, it's pine wood. Um, but if you notice that there's wood here and there was wood out in the living room, this wood actually came from this property. There's 20 acres of land here. In the back, 18 acres is all managed forest land. So it actually does have to get logged off every so often, but it's maintained and managed in part by the DNR, but owned by the property owner. It's kind of a nice way of being able to contribute to growing forests that are sustainable while still being able to make money off the land and it helps both the DNR but then you also got a profit off it too. It was logged off before we bought the place in the first place but that's where the wood came from. So the previous owner before us actually put this wood in here and um, it's all in the living room but there was only one bedroom that the wood was put in. That's why we consider this the main bedroom. It's also the closest to the bathroom. So now if I do a 180 there, there's the wolf room, but there's the bathroom. Now that's about where you saw the one scene from. Now it's cleared out. Um, it's a bathroom. It's white. The only cool thing to really see inside of it is the musky on the wall. They hang the towels. Now uh, that's gonna stay, but I always love looking at that because that's kind of the reason why like we were looking for a cabin so we could go fishing somewhere. But anyway, the door that we never used um, literally never because it's caulked up so that way it doesn't leak but we were thinking about fixing that this year not gonna happen now so anyway we're going in to the favorite my favorite room in the cabin I when when we got the place let me get this. When we got the place, this room was just completely white. And I was given permission to do what I wanted to. The, the, this room in particular. So if you notice, 
wolf pitcher. Wolf pitcher. There's another wolf pitcher. Wolf pitcher. Wolf pitcher. And then there was actually going to be more on that wall and in that corner. This was what we what I called the wolf room. Now you're probably saying to yourself, well that's kind of biased. You're a wolf. I'm just like, yeah. But the main one of the reasons why is I knew about the wolf pack that I just heard this weekend for the first time. Um, just north of the cabin here. And this was kind of like a node to the DNR to be like, like, well, this is just kind of like a nod to the DNR's work to re-get um, some of the wolf packs around the state, like, re-established. And there's one here in Adams County, and that's where the, um, it's where the cabin is located. So, like, it was kind of a nod to that, plus also, that picture's cool, that picture's cool. Those other ones I got from some garage sales. And yeah, this is, this had a twin bed in it, and when my father was up here, and the bed was being used out there, this is where I slept. My twin bed that I had growing up was in here. It's a home away from home. We'll leave the window open, we'll listen to the breeze. If there's a storm rolling in, hear the thunder roll. It's nice and peace, quiet out here. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to show you the utility room, but it's literally there. Pitcher, uh, water well, pump, water well, uh, tank, heater, and electrical panel. That's literally it. <laughs> There's not much going on there. It's a very small room. The bathroom is larger than it. So, anyway, that kind of completes this little tour of the cabin. So, right there's more of that wood. And then the ceiling fan. And you can kind of see my dad's fish and my brother's fish up on the wall there. Some more prints. This is the cabin. It's not a whole lot. I don't have any outside pictures because it's 2 o'clock in the morning right now. But I hope that this helps me remember a lot more memories. And also document more things in your life. Anyway, bye guys. We'll see you next time. I need to take my head off. I'm crying. <laughs>